there can only be one winner. Let's do this on the ice tonight. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready for puck action. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Hurricanes start with possession as we are now underway. The Oilers move it ahead. Steps across the blue line. And makes the save. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Stays with it. Oh, just gets a piece of it with the toe stop. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Takes it to the net. Oh, serves up waffles for dinner with that stop. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. The Hurricanes play it along the boards. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Yamamoto's lugging the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And now he moves it to McDavid. Slides it across. He scores! They quickly take advantage of a team that fell back on their heels. It's like they lost their energy for a moment, knowing they were going to be penalized. And it proved costly. As we get another look at this, James, check out the vision and the creativity to thread that pass right through onto the tape. And it's in the back of the net. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Great defensive effort with the stick. It's a two-on-one rush. Oh, they missed the opportunity there. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Here he is on the backhand. And he regains control of the puck. And there's the save. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Intercepted. Carolina's read the play just perfectly tonight. It's like they have the book of the way the game is going to be played. Every time there is a moment of space that's available, they seem to shut it off. Couldn't complete the pass. Great poke check on the reach. Moves the puck over to Trocek. Taken by CeCe. And now it's over to Fogel. Puts the puck on net. Oh, and there's a great save by Anderson. Puck grab by Puglia Yarby. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Niederreiter. Sends the pass over. Stalls carrying it ahead. Sends it over. Oh. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this. And we're back to even Steven. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Setters jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. And now it's grabbed by Stahl. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Niederreiter's got it into offensive territory. Great heads up play with the stick by Bouchard. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Perlini. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Slides the puck ahead to Perlini. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. The Oilers have it now. Slides it over with pace to Kotkaniemi. With possession along the wall. Koskinen's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. The setters will glide into the dot. Off 
off the draw and he ties up his opponent. They go on the attack through center. Great read with the stick. Takes it to the front. Denies him. Oh, wow. Stops him again. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. He scores! Just how he drew it up there, Ray. Oh, yeah, he's that accurate. He should do it more often. He just shot the thing, and it went off the post and in. Oh, he tries the windmill glove save here, but there's so much traffic. I don't know that he really had a look at it. He's trying to catch it, and he missed it. Carolina's effort pays off. They've taken the one-goal lead. Deserved one-goal lead, too, James. I think they've played quite well, but now you got a little bit of an opening. Try and stretch the lead. Driving right to the front. Made the stop on that play. They worked the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Broken up at center by D'Angelo. Puck picked up by Slavin. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Here in the late goings of the period, Carolina's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. The Oilers win it. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Keith's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Whatever happens on this penalty kill will have an impact going into the next period. It's an important time in the game. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Delayed penalty. Goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the penalty killers will try to wrap this period up in a positive note here. Tight game. It's a critical time. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Carolina's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Oh, how did that stay out? It just misses. It stays out, James, because he just misses the net. I mean, he's trying to get it on the cage, obviously, but he, the perfect shot doesn't have to be made. You have to make the goalie make a save from that position. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. And sneaks in and grabs possession. And serves up a little knock on the play. Puck scooped up by Slavin. Here they come on the attack. And that's turned aside by Koskinen. Carolina's got possession of the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Dreisaitl. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. The man advantage is over. Anderson's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Hurricanes lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Svechnikov swooping in on the attack. Puts it up front. Fantastic save. Koskinen's outstanding play continues. That's a great save. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gaining steam here on the attack. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. 
That pass doesn't go. Hyman's got it along the wing. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Drives to the paint. And that goes off a player. Let's the wrister fly. Oh, and that's got the crowd buzzing after that stop. Scooped up along the wall by Slavin. Sends it out right in front. And they can't convert on the play. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Heads to the back of the net. Great save from in tight. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And that's off a stick. Perlini's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And now he angles it across to Nurse. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Now the bench isn't very happy with that penalty. Now they know the penalty killers are going to have to get the job done to protect the lead. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. This power play almost jumped off the bench as soon as the penalty was called. They want out. They think they're the answer for the one goal deficit. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. The Hurricanes take possession here in the open ice. Moved in front. And that pass attempt is deflected. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the bank feed. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Shea. Steps inside. Keeps hold of the puck. Maintains possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Carolina's gained possession. Pesci's up and ready to join the play. Edmonton's power play has some chances, but they still are down a goal. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. And here's the pass to Svechnikov. He's got a step. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Carolina's ready to go on the attack. Pass right on the doorstep. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's 2-1. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Taken along the wall by Puyo Yarby. And that's stolen by Slavin. Spot. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Taken by Nurse. Moves it on over to Pugliarvi. Oh, look at this chance. And a stick breaks that up. Great reach with the stick by Pugliarvi. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Puck grabbed by Stahl. Here's the pass. Nothing doing. Great reach with the poke check. Nice feed from the goaltender. The Hurricanes will play the puck from behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. On the backhand! And he makes the save on that play. Nice pass. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a shot! Comes up with the stop. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal! Now what a tough break for the goaltender. This thing's just shoveled towards the net somehow. And as it's bouncing around, the goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of it. Now he's got to fish it out from behind him. Carolina's looking to cruise into the intermission with a two-goal cushion. Oh, they're feeling a lot better than they were 30 seconds ago. This is a nice spot for them to be in. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Oilers 
Bears are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Carolina's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've tried to jam things around the front of the net, James. I think they've got to go back to the point, open up some space, and shoot the puck from there. Shuts them down. Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. Passed up ahead. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. The Hurricanes win the draw as this period is underway and their power play goes back to work. Koskinen's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Solid job tying up his opponent. Here he comes in on a breakaway. And it kind of falls apart here at the end. James, I'm going to assume he had a different idea about how that was going to finish up. They got a pair on a two-on-one. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. Picked up along the boards by Trocek. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. It really doesn't matter if the power play scored before or not in this game, which it hasn't. You've got to focus in on the one that you've got right now. It's time to tee off on this one. Oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Hurricanes let out a collective groan. Scores on the power play. Clinical stuff out there. They had worked on the power play at the morning skate today. They were able to take that forward into a power play. 